that uh, wonderful picture of uh, Marjorie and Stephanie and Ann Olson and Meg Adozik, uh, the last time any of us were in Brooklyn, time for Stephanie. They talked a lot about what she would like us to do in her memory. And um, they really schemed and planned out something. I'm really pleased that we're able to bring to fruition today the Persephone Neal um, Memorial Fellowship in co collaboration with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. The inspiration for this uh, fellowship is actually her um, very dear friend, Fatima Kislova, I just found your name, I'm sorry, uh, who had the luxury of uh, doing a fellowship at the Pulitzer Center. And, and Persephone's vision is the Pulitzer Center normally works with uh, Western US journalists and lets them really deepen their coverage of international affairs. In this case, to have journalists like the journalists that we work with around the world also have access to that amazing in-depth a mentorship and supportive uh, support to do long form, really creative um, production. And we're thrilled. Um, we've already raised uh, over $30,000 towards this fellowship um, from individual donations. And that allows us, I'm, I'm fairly confident, we'll at least be able to do two fellowships. Um, and we hope to raise a lot more money and do a lot more. I'm going to turn it over to John and Fatima to, to explain the fellowship. I didn't know Persephone nearly as well as everyone in this room, but uh, I think in a way the Pulitzer Center and I were good, were good examples of uh, Persephone's influence in the world. I mean, she, she heard about us, you know, we're a small uh, startup, nonprofit journalism center that started five years ago, and now we're trying to fill a gap in coverage of big, important global issues and, and get as much impact uh, with those issues in the American media and around the world. And so we were just starting out. Persephone found out about us, and she 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 made it possible, she maneuvered to, to get me to, to, to one of her media uh, republic republic conference and to other conferences. And she was a constant uh, cheerleader for us, as she has been for um, so many other journalists and, and, and people around the world. Uh, so uh, when Marjorie and Jeannie came and they said that, that uh, Persephone wanted to to for us to work together with the internet is to, to establish this fellowship. Uh, we were thrilled and, and honored uh, to, to have a role in this and, and thrilled at the response of already to, to in the fundraising for this and, and that we will be able to, to begin the first fellowship. I think that we're hoping in the next day or two that we'll have it up on our websites and, and we'll announce the, the terms. I mean, she, Persephone is, is uh, those of you who know her, she's, she's quite particular. She, she, had, she had a very clear vision of what she wanted. Uh, I want to read just you know, some, just her, her, this language is pretty much from her, and, and it speaks to what she wanted from this fellowship. And, and this, this is and who will be eligible for the Persephone uh, Mill Fellowship. Um, and the fellowships are open to all journalists, writers, photographers, radio producers, or filmmakers staff journalists as well as freelancers who are non-native English-speaking media professionals seeking to report from their home country. That's a very specific goal that she's trying to, she's trying to um, make an opportunity for voices to be heard beyond a region, beyond a country, uh, in a larger world and, and give us the, the, the opportunity to, to bring those voices uh, to the widest possible audience. And, of course, it's the kind of people that, that Internews works with uh, all over the world, and, and so it's natural that, that the Pulitzer Center will will partner with, with Internews in the, in the selection of these fellows, and then we will work to, to do everything we can to, to, to mentor them, to, to, to you know, bring them multimedia tools, whatever, to, to, to expose the work as, as broadly as we can. Uh, one of the uh, inspirations for this, as Jeannie said, uh, was the work that the Vatima Tlisova uh, did in from the North Caucasus. And it wasn't just the Pulitzer Center. I mean, Persephone and Marjorie, Jeannie, others who were uh, and working with uh, Fatima from the time that she left uh, the Russia several years ago uh, after being harassed as a journalist herself, uh, and, and came to the United States and with, with, without any resources. And, and it was through their through their help that she first had a fellowship at the at the Carr Center for Human Rights at Harvard, and then at the Neiman Foundation, and then came to us, and, and, we, and we discussed uh, doing a, a project together, and, and along with Neiman reports. It's in, if you if you go online, if you go on our site, uh, Fatima has done uh, a wonderful project. Uh, she went back to the North 
cautious is a considerable risk to herself uh, last winter and, and reported on journalists who have been harassed, driven from the country, and in some cases murdered in the last 10 or 15 years uh, because of their, their work as journalists. And, and those pieces, uh, the print version of it is in the current issue of Neiman Reports telling their stories and our own stories. Uh, and then additional video uh, footage that she took and, and of the interviews with the journalist uh, driven from uh, Russia is, is on the Pulitzer Center website. So if you haven't seen it, uh, I hope you'll, I hope you'll look. And, and it's, it's people like Fatima uh, that we hope to be working with uh, in, the, in the coming years. Uh, and, and each time we do so, we'll be thinking about what's happening. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be part of this. And let me turn it to Fatima. I actually visited many, many organizations and never people, I was not able to convince people to believe in my project or to trust me and to explain to them how important it is for me or for so many journalists in my region in the North Caucasus to be heard, their stories to be told. And it was the first time when I have got a um, positive um, response, and it was um, and Pulitzer Center. And it happened with the help of Persephone. It's just one simple example. She, this is um, a blog post uh, from her amazing uh, media republic. Here, she writes about me, but most important, importantly, she writes that what is important for herself. She says, I know why I care about saving journalism. She really knew. And it's here. I consider myself as the first Persephone fellow because it 